In this video, I'm gonna be talking about updating your WordPress site. So that means updating your plugins and updating your theme. The reason I'm making this video is because a number of you have recently updated the plugins on your WooZone uh, Amazon affiliate sites and you've run into some problems. So uh, I thought I needed to talk about that. So that's what this video is for. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. So yeah, this video is about updating WordPress. Um, as I said, a number of you have updated your sites recently and you found that some of the stuff isn't working anymore, which is a bit of a pain. So before I go into that, let's talk about WordPress updates um, on a kind of general uh, level. So, you know, you log into your website one day and you see the little circly thing at the top with the arrows. It says you've got some updates, so you you know jump in there excitedly, run all the updates, and everything works fine. Now that happens nine times out of ten. However, sometimes you run those updates and stuff on your site breaks. So um, I'm going to give you a few tips now um, to keep in mind um, when you're updating your site. So let's start. So tip number one is always back up your site before you run any updates. I know everyone says this and it even says it when you are about to run the updates um, and a lot of us don't do it, but it's essential and you can do backups really easily with a plugin like Updraft. Um, just install that plugin and it'll, it'll do the backups for you. Just make sure you click that, um, that backup now button before you run the updates. If you're using someone like WP Engine, they take a backup of your site every day anyway, as do a number of other hosting providers. So if something does go wrong, you can access those backups, do a restore, and then you're back to where you were um, before you ran those updates. Uh, and then you could go through updating everything individually to figure out what it is that's breaking your site. Step number two is don't rush into it, especially if you're running plugins like WooCommerce. The reason I say this is that with WooCommerce, there are generally other extensions, for example, WooZone or Payment Gateways that kind of work off the back of WooCommerce. And if you update WooCommerce and those plugins aren't compatible with the latest version, then you're gonna run into problems. That's what's happened right now. Uh, a lot of you have jumped in and you've updated the latest version of WooCommerce. Um, without checking whether uh, WooZone's been updated or indeed Kingdom, which is the theme that a lot of you are using, has also been updated um, so that it's fully compatible with the latest version. So um, before you run any updates on a plugin where there's other plugins that are dependent on it, WooCommerce is probably the, the best example of this, be sure to check that those other plugins have also got an update and it says very clearly that they are compatible with the latest version. The third and final tip is update your themes. A lot of the time um, you see that your plugins need updating because it kind of is nice and clear and it's got the automatic updates and all that kind of stuff. But a lot of the themes, especially premium themes, they don't have an auto update feature. So um, you won't know if there's a new version available. So be sure to go over to wherever you purchase the theme from, maybe Theme Forest or somewhere like that, and have a look and see if there's a new version, download it and install it. Um, that'll probably fix a lot of your problems. A lot of people, they update the plugins as I say, and then they don't update the theme, and the theme then goes out of date and is not compatible with the plugins that you're running. So let's talk about those problems that you've been having with your WooZone sites. So those of you that are on the live streams, you'll know that I've recently taken on an assistant to help me with my affiliate sites, and she's very helpful. So helpful, in fact, that she jumped in and updated all the plugins on Boot Boutique, which was very uh, good of her. Um, but it also means that I've got a few problems as well. And one of the biggest problems is that the pagination, I think that's how you say it, pagination, pagination, uh, whatever it's called, the little numbers that appear along the bottom of categories and the shop page so that people can navigate through multiple pages of products, they've disappeared. Uh, this seems to be the biggest issue I've seen um, with the current update. So you've got two solutions if you wanna fix it. The first is you need to roll back to an earlier version of WooCommerce, maybe from your backup, or if you hunt around online, you'll be able to find um, an earlier version of WooCommerce, remove the current one and install that, that should fix it. Uh, if you don't wanna do that, you can go into the Kingdom settings and you can increase the number of products that are shown on a category or a shop page, uh, whack that up to you know 999 or whatever, and then all your products will load in one go. Now, obviously this could slow down your site if you've got you know thousands of products in each category, which 
I wouldn't recommend anyway, but that's a different story. But you know, if you've got 100, 150, it should be fine. Um, and then once um, WooZone and Kingdom have been updated so they're fully compatible with WooCommerce, you can go back and change that setting. So that brings me to the end of this video. Uh, let me know how you've been getting on with your updates in the comments below. I think the one takeaway thing that I want you to take away from this video is don't rush into your plugin updates. If there's a new update for a big plugin like WooCommerce, don't just click the update button. Double check that everything else that's running off it is gonna be compatible. And, and you know, just wait a few weeks for everything to kind of catch up and get updated and then you should be fine. Of course, if it's a security update, then you do obviously need to run that. But if it's a major update with lots of new features and changes, then yeah, don't jump in with both feet. Take a breath, double check everything um, before you run that update. And of course, take a backup. So if you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you on board. Please click the little eagle up there and click the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Here's another video uh, which you might enjoy. It's chosen specially for you. And there's the other channel. Check it out. Until next time, bye for now.